Hello everything. So today we're going to use the right angle triangle to find out what is theta. Right? So theta is an angle. We're going to use the trigonometric ratios. We have two sides. Remember I said it's either two sides and an unknown angle or an angle with one side to figure out what is the other side. But there's always three stuff involved, right? In this case, we have two sides, which is 100. And the reason I know this is 100 is because of the side is between my 90 degree angle and my angle, my theta. So this is adjacent. This one is going to be then the opposite. So I'm going to work with adjacent and the opposite. So step one is I need to figure out which ratio to use. Is it going to be sin theta, which is opposite over the hypotenuse, cos theta, which is adjacent over the hypotenuse, or is it going to be tan theta, which is opposite over the adjacent? So do I have for opposite? Yes, but I don't have the hypotenuse. You see? Is it going to have adjacent? Yes, but I don't have the hypotenuse, so that one is out. Do I have opposite? Yes. And do I have adjacent? Yes. So I'm going to use tan theta. Just wipe this off quickly. So I'm going to use tan theta. And I'm going to substitute tan theta. So tan theta is equal to my opposite over the adjacent. And my opposite is 50. And my adjacent is 100. Right? So step one is you choose your, your correct ratio. Step two is you substitute. So up and then now I want to make the angle the subject of the equation, which means I'm going to press shift first. And I place this in my calculator. So shift. Tan, and then my fraction is going to be 50 over 100 and then I'm going to close my bracket yeah, the, sorry <laughs> and it's going to give me equal to 26 5 5 6 which means theta is going to if I round it off it's going to be 27 degrees or 26,57 degrees. Remember your angles must always be in degrees because you're working with the angle. So again, step one is the ratio, choose the right ratio, the correct ratio. Then you substitute, then you press shift with a fraction and then your final answer is your angle. Good luck with the huge activity, great tense.